I and millions of British and European citizens are about to have many of our rights ripped away from us as a result of a highly flawed, poor quality democratic process subject to foreign interference, misinformation and even illegality that saw a shameful narrowing of the franchise worthy of a tin pot dictatorship rather than a mature Western democracy. This means that the three groups of people who are most impacted by Brexit had no say in their future. I'm speaking of all the young people whose lives will be limited in opportunity, not to mention the child refugees that the Conservatives refuse to consider. Then there's millions of EU27 citizens who live, study, work and pay into the tax economy in the UK and British citizens in the EU, including the elderly, who may find themselves isolated without health care and social protection. We can never legislate for the changing complexities of individual family life. This is a future windrush waiting to happen. And finally, madam, a word about freedom of movement. As things stand, it looks as if a tin of meat will have more rights than a human being as it crosses the border between the EU and the UK. So shame on the Brexiteers for reducing us to dead meat. Madam Ward. Mr. Rowland would like to ask you a question. House, I see no purpose in giving these people any, uh, yes or any, no. any right to speak here when they don't turn up to the committees to do their actual job of work. Let's see them in the uh, committees thank first. You, Ward. Let's see them actually earning their money rather than being in here uh, Ward, spreading hate and division. Mr. Rowland, I'm sorry, but you've been refused. We move now to Madam Gibson. Not now.